everyone, welcome back to my channel and today's video, I'm super excited to be bringing you this video because it is how to fix dry damaged hair and it's probably the age old question, every hairdresser gets this question and I've definitely dabbled here and there on this question like what product to, to use. So I've compiled all of my favorite techniques and absolutely favorite products and in which order to use them in order to fix your dry damaged hair. Obviously if you've clicked on this video, you are looking to heal and fix your dry damaged hair. So I hope that with these products and these techniques and at least this information, you're a little bit more informed um, as to what products you will choose for yourself or how to explain to your hairdresser what you want in the future and basically how to treat and care for your hair. Okay, first and foremost, before you can heal your hair, you have to first know what kind of damage you have. A lot of times people say, well, I can't tell if my hair is dry or damaged, or it can be both. So basically there are two main ways that the hair can be damaged. It can be dry, like completely dehydrated. And normally this is more um, if you're using hot tools constantly. And this could mean that you don't color your hair at all or you have virgin hair color, but say you have pretty wavy, kinky hair and you flat iron your hair almost daily, your hair is going to be extremely dry, but more from a mechanical sense rather than like chemical situation from like color and bleaching and all of that. One of the best ways if you truly are unsure is to literally just pull out a hair of yours and just kind of stretch it. Healthy hair should have good elasticity. That means it should kind of stretch a bit and kind of go back to its original length. Um, that is a healthy hair. If the hair just snaps right away, that means the hair needs protein, it needs hydration. So in that case, you would need like a deep conditioning treatment. Um, definitely lay off the hot tools if you can. This is definitely the issue that is easier to fix. Hot oil treatments are also amazing. And the way hot oil treatments work is either when the hair is wet or dry, applying a good hydrating, high quality oil to both your scalp and your hair. Wrap your hair in a damp, warm towel and the heat will help open up your hair a little bit in order to receive those nutrients from that oil. Much like our skin does, like during a steam or using hot water, your pores open up and receive that product. Hair is basically the same way. So one of my favorite oils to use is the Monate Rejuvenique Oil. You guys know how much of a fan I am of this product. I apply it to my roots and my scalp at least once a week. I basically do like a more intensive all over oil treatment about once a month. That has me growing new hair and my hairline is as thick as it been since I can absolutely remember. So now that we've talked about dryness and the overprocessing of hair, now for the second thing which I think is absolutely revolutionary and really one of the most exciting things that has happened to hair in at least during the time that I've been a hairdresser. It is the ever so creative and amazing like pH bonding treatment. And we all know Olaplex, um, they were the first ones to, I guess, come out with this revolutionary idea. We all loved their sleek packaging. Um, we loved how amazing and new and basically giving everyone who has been bleaching their hair this opportunity to continue to bleach and go blonder um, without, you know, messing with the integrity of your hair. So. I definitely have to hand it to Olaplex for creating and really just revolutionizing this, this category, which is my absolute favorite, which is lightening and blonding and hair coloring. So when this came out, it I, I think it was a bit confusing for both stylists and for clients, the fact that we had to bump the developer. So this is the step two, as you can see, number two. Obviously, step one would be the treatment that we mix into color or to bleach. And basically what it was doing was preventing damage by protecting the bonds in the hair, which bleach normally is breaking. I feel like that part was pretty foolproof, except for the part where hairdressers did have to bump up the volume. So say, if I always use 30 volume on a client, now when I'm using Olaplex, I had to use um, a 40 volume. So the part where I didn't really like it is what about for a client where I need 40 volume, I feel like I'm kind of stuck. 
I'm not a fan of using 50 volume. So in a way, I felt like I had this really amazing tool, but it was slightly taking away from my possibilities and basically my products. But there was nothing else and it was amazing for what it was and I was absolutely in love with the product. Um, so many of my clients were absolutely in love with it and the fact that it was something so new and so amazing, um, of course it got a lot of buzz. Um, I had clients coming in to see me just because their previous hairdresser didn't carry Olaplex. So it was a you know very loved and well-received product, I would definitely say. Now, I think the only downfall to it was again with a the having to bump the volume. And second of all, I feel because of that, occasionally I would get a client that normally every time I would highlight her root, she would lift to a very beautiful light blonde. And when using Olaplex, sometimes I just felt like I was just one kind of level less than where I wanted to be, which was annoying at times because then again, I felt like I had to adjust the time, if not the developer. Um, so then they came out and said, scratch what we had said, you don't have to bump the developer. Well, I felt like I tried that and then I felt like it still somehow diluted the product. And again, I wasn't getting enough lift. But then they said, we'll add time to the process. And who has time in the salon? I mean, I most days I don't take a pee break and I eat my lunch standing up. So no, I don't wanna add 15, 20 minutes to a client. I, I personally don't double book. So um, adding 20 minutes to each client is a big deal for me. So I started getting slightly annoyed with the product and I felt like just from the manufacturers they kept giving us like new information well it's like oh never mind actually don't do this now do this instead and I felt like at that point that's where it kind of started to lose my respect a little bit but this still changed the way hairdressers were using bleach so um, I will forever have a respect for it that it absolutely deserves but then came along this amazing product and at first I was kind of like well it's probably exactly the same thing so do I want to kind of get familiar with another product if it's technically the same thing as you guys know me I carry Redken color and toners at the salon so I figured I'll give it a try maybe it'll work better with my color who knows and I tried it and at first I was like, it's beginner's luck. You know, it was, my client was like, I took her to the blondest I had ever taken this client and her hair felt like absolute silk. And even she was like, oh my gosh, this like feels amazing. What is this product? And, and again, I was like, well, maybe it was just this one client. So at first I was actually like offering it to clients for free, just, you know, like, let me try this amazing super product on your hair. And they'd be like, great, it's gonna make my hair feel healthier and make my blonde look better? Absolutely. So I truly feel that the pH bonder just has a better track record, at least for me. I do know a lot of other hairdressers that use this and love it as well. The other issue, and this can technically be for either the Olaplex or the pH bonder. What I'm showing you here is the step two for both. So the first step is, it almost looks like an oil, but it's not oily at all. And that's the first treatment that we mix into color or bleach. Then the second step, the number two, is what we, as a hairdresser, once we wash off your color or your bleach, we apply this product right away, before we shampoo, before we tone. This will basically restore the fibers of the hair and, and basically aid step one to get your hair uh, back to its healthiest and the correct pH balance for the hair. So that's all great and dandy. Then there is a step three, and that's what you take home. Now the old plex treatment, I literally like the the step number three. This is what I would give clients to take home. And at first, I was kind of an idiot in that I literally had my shelf stocked, and anyone that paid for the old plex treatment for me to do at the salon, like step one and the step two, I would just give them the step three to take home. Then I later found out that Olaplex would recommend that you sell the take home bottle. But at first it was like, well, if this stuff is really as amazing as you guys say it is, if the person's already paying for the service, I think they should definitely get the step three to take home. Because God forbid there was a client that was like, I don't wanna pay you know, the extra $14 for the step three. And then I felt like that was such an integral step 
to kind of finalizing this amazing service that they had received. So I was like, you know what, I'd rather just give it away. So that to me was when the big issue started. The big issue was when I started sending people home with this step three, then when they would come back to highlight their hair again or to touch up or whatever, I had a much harder time lightening their hair than I had ever had. And these were clients, some of them I've had for years. So I was like, what is happening? And I was like, what have you been doing to your hair? I mean, the hair felt healthy, sure, it felt strong, but the hair was just being so stubborn to lift. And I was a bit confused. I was like, what is going on? Because now I feel like this is happening to a lot of my clients. At first I thought it was my bleach. Um, I was second guessing every product that I was using. And again, like, I, I would eventually deliver the result the client wanted, but it was it started to be like double the work for me. And over lunch once I was talking to another hairdresser and I mentioned this to her and she was like, me too, I fucking hate Olaplex. And I was like, that can't be it. If it's like healing the hair, like why would it make the hair like stubborn? That makes no sense. I mean, unless it's like basically kind of created this immune system that's basically immune to bleach, which as hairdressers, we don't want that. <laughs> so I believe then it was old Plex and there was like big forums about this and lots of information online and basically saying that the step three, if used incorrectly, that it basically would kind of seal up the hair so much that it became very difficult for us to bleach it in the future. Another thing I started to get with clients was their hair ended up feeling like when hair has too much protein. Um, if you have ever had this, you know what I'm talking about, but basically the hair feels so thick and almost wiry, like wool, kind of. And this is when the hair has too much protein. Normally the hair lacks protein, but when the hair gets too much of it, and I know that the step three is not giving your hair protein. I know I'm gonna have a million hairdressers attack me and say, it's not gonna make the hair protein. I know, but that's the feeling it gives the hair. Then I had clients saying like, don't use that stuff on my hair anymore. Like, I don't want Olaplex, I don't want it to come near my hair. And part of me was like, you know, this product started off so well um, for like the first year. And then actually a colleague of mine was going to this Olaplex class and basically reteaching us how to use the product. And apparently like the step number three, you really, really have to follow directions. And that means when the directions say to leave it on the hair for 10 minutes, that means do exactly that. So we ended up having clients that were taking this product home and sleeping in it. And, or like literally putting it on their hair and putting it their hair up for the day and like wearing it for a day or two sometimes. So when they really thought like, I'm hydrating my hair and I'm healing it. So if it heals in 10 minutes, what will it do in like a day? Um, so I, I totally understand that it, it was a new product and they were perfecting it and perfecting uh, on teaching us how to properly use it and as much as I learned how to properly use the product and as much as I felt like I wanted to you know convey that to my clients and explain exactly what was going on I felt like there was quite a bit of clients that were just so turned off by it that were just like nope I'm done I don't want to try that anymore I, I, I felt bad because I know that truly it is still a good product but that's where my love for Redken pH Bonder um, is so much bigger because it hasn't had any issues. And I, I do truly believe that when a product, as amazing as it is, I always feel like the first generation of a product is always kind of a test run and in no disrespect to Olaplex whatsoever. Um, but I just think the Redken pH Bonder just works so seamlessly. I 100% believe that this makes the hair feel better. Um, as, as soon as I put in this step two, uh, it just, the hair feels healthy. I absolutely love that I don't have to bump the volume, I don't have to adjust the time. It is that simple. So if you have tried Olaplex and somehow didn't have a good reaction or a good experience with it, um, if your salon does carry Redken, I would highly recommend asking your stylist 
to use that. I think that you will absolutely love the results on your hair. So that is the absolute best you can do to protect the bonds and to restore the fibers in your hair. Now I'm going to move on to probably one of the most annoying issues with hair and that is split ends. There is definitely a lot of talk about how there are products that heal and end split ends. And there's definitely a lot of information out there saying that don't believe it, it's a gimmick, it's all hyped up. There's nothing that can heal a split end except for cutting it off. And although I truly believe that getting a haircut is the absolute best way to treat split ends because you are actually treating it because you're cutting it from the source and you now have a healthy hair to continue to grow from there on. So products like the Rejuva Beads Split and Mender. And I do have to say that I do use a split and mender occasionally. Not as often as I'd like, only because I'm lazy and because at the end of the day when I've washed God knows how many <laughs> heads of hair, um, I try and be as basic with mine as possible. So now does this completely heal and fix that uh, split end and you will now have a perfect hair? I absolutely don't think so. I am just being honest. but. Does this product at least seal those ends? The reason why these products exist and why I still think there is a need for these products is say that you have long hair and let's say that you have damage up to here. So you could either cut those ends so that eventually they grow longer, which obviously is a surefire way to get that hair to become healthy and continue to grow. But by putting kind of a split end sealer, what you're doing is basically gluing those ends together. So preventing the issue from getting worse. So that hair can continue to grow. That split end is still there, but it's not going to continue to get any worse than it already is. So I still see a benefit to that, especially for someone who all of their ends are split and they really need to say, remove two to three inches. They're not ready to give up that much length. I definitely think this product is great for that because at least it will help you hang on to those ends for a little while longer. Eventually you will absolutely have to get rid of those ends, but maybe once the hair is more to a length that you're happy and comfortable with, then you can do that haircut. Versus waiting, say, three to six months and that hair is now completely snapped off or overall just gotten so much worse. Nothing really replaces a good haircut, a good dusting on the hair, but also if you are very attached to your length, um, I wouldn't hesitate to try a split end product. I hope that I have touched on the hair issue that you're dealing with. Just have to say absolutely how much I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Um, the last video that I did was a little bit more personal and I do have to say I always get a little bit nervous posting something like that. And I had so many of you guys say like, I listened to the whole story or you're such a great storyteller, which I was like, oh my God, God bless your heart. But the fact that you guys would just listen to something, you know, that private or that personal, I mean, I really just, I felt the love in that. And some of you guys said that it helped you going through a tough time that you were going through. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much and I will see you in the next one. <laughs> Bye.